Hey everybody, Reds fan 1979 coming back at you with a special baseball card video. Hope everybody had a wonderful holiday, nice Christmas and New Year's. Um, getting into January now. We're about a month away from the Topps 2024 Series 1 release, which is pretty exciting. The design came out, I want to say yesterday or Thursday. It was uh, been floating around on social media with Ellie De La Cruz as the, the poster boy for it. Uh, kind of a neon feel, kind of a uh, little bit, a little bit wild, a um, little bit mixed reviews, but a lot of people say they do like it. Unfortunately, the, t uh, the black borders are on the top, on the top two corners, and those are going to make it hard for grading. But anyways, we'll see. So I wanted to show you guys my first group of pickups for 2024. There's some smaller cards here, and then I have two big cards for me, at least at the end, which I know a lot of you Reds fans are going to be excited about. So First card here is a 2018 Topps Black and White, or I'm sorry, 2022. 2022 Topps Black and White Joey Votto. I love the image here. Um, the photography is just amazing. Um, I always knew about these black and white on-demand cards, but I didn't know which years Joey Votto was in the set. He was not in it for 2023. So um, I picked up one from 2018. This one's from 2022. These are both really cool images, and there's a couple others that I'm gonna look at picking up in the future. So nice card there, uh, nice Topps Chrome Black Votto. Little bit of a blue streak there, which I find interesting. Um, just a little bit of a blue hue or lighter black, I don't know, depends on, maybe I'm colorblind. But uh, nice card there, just a base. And then a couple nice Matt McLeans. I've been watching this for a while, I just wanted to get it at the right price. And I think I ended up getting this for about $7, plus a couple of dollars to ship, but this is the Bowman Chrome Sapphire. Blue is my favorite color, and I love the way that looks, the contrast with the City Connect uniform. And then got this for a pretty good deal, too. Um, waited for the price for these to come down. This one's actually really nicely centered. Um, this, I think I got for $12, plus maybe a dollar shipping. When they started out, they were really expensive, so they've dropped probably 50%-ish 50, 50 um, in value to be able to pick up singles. So... Nice one there. Okay, and then my last two cards. So I had been looking for a Matt McLean Auto, um, Topps Heritage Real One Auto from High Number. I really like the nostalgic look of those. I have a couple of Reds players in those. Or also the uh, Topps Update from 23, the 1988 throwback. That's the auto that he has. And I just have not found. I found a few on eBay. There's been a couple of Red Ink autos that have sold, but I think everybody's just holding on to their McLeans to see what he does this next year because it's been nearly impossible to find. There, there has not been a, a base real one auto that's been put on eBay, and even in Red's groups, um, I'm having a hard time. I, I saw one guy got one in a break, but he was planning on holding on to it, and so I don't know if they're short printed or if people are just holding on to them, but anyways, I was on one of my... Uh, sports card websites I like to peruse for cheap pickups and I managed to come across this card which is just amazing I couldn't pass it up um, I have the base this is the silver pack uh, mojo parallel from tops update and this is the orange parallel numbered to 22 out of 25 and when I saw the price that this was being offered at it was forty dollars and I thought well that sounds pretty good but um there wasn't a history of a lot of these that had sold so i went online and ebay and looked at the the last sold and the last one was sold right around christmas and it was for 70 dollars. so i was like wow this is this is a really good deal this is a this is a big card for a mclean collector not a, not exactly a color match but um a low numbered parallel and for 40 dollars, I, I ended up writing the guy an email online and just going back and forth with him talking about shipping and asked him if he'd take any less just to see if I could get it for maybe 35 but he was pretty firm at 40 which again is is more than fair um so overall it looks great um I didn't see really any major surface scratches or any white on the back of this um the centering is pretty good it's a, just a hair thicker on the left than the right so i still think it's probably within the tolerances for grading so i probably will get this graded um so we'll see what happens but really nice pickup there i'm excited about that now this card 
is the one that I've really been wanting to get. Um, not necessarily this card, but just I've been looking for a dual autograph of Reds players for a while now. And I almost pulled the trigger on the Topps Heritage, Johnny Bench, and Joey Votto, but it was really expensive. I think the cheapest, it was like $300. <clears throat> maybe last summer, summer before, something like that. But when Topps Definitive came out this year, they made a card that had two of my favorite Reds players on it. One that is a Hall of Famer that used to play for the Reds, one of my favorites from the 80s, and then Joey Votto. So I hopped on it. Um, there were about three or four of them on eBay that were at auction, and I managed to win this, and I'm super stoked about it. So let me show you guys. Without further ado... Barry Larkin and Joey Votto, numbered 12 out of 35. Gorgeous card. Um, just beautiful. I even checked it out, and the corners actually look pretty good on it for a thick card. So I think I am going to get it slabbed just because this is, this is like a unique card for my collection. I don't have any dual autograph cards. So, uh, so I, on eBay, I managed to s snag this for $133.50. And most of the others have gone for between like $160 and $180. There was a jersey number one with Votto's jersey, 19 out of 35. I thought about going for that, but I knew that there's collectors out there that go for that and they'd pay a, a huge price. And surprisingly, it only went for $155 or $160, so not much more than this. But really neat card there so i'm just going to kind of set that there so uh please drop a comment below let me know what you guys think of these pickups i'm super stoked especially about these two cards i'm definitely going to get both of those graded uh, got some christmas money and decided to use um, a lot of it for these cards so anyways uh tell me what you guys think um what do you think of this dual auto card what do you think about matt mclean do you think he's going to be really good in 2024 are you holding on to him for those that are reds fans and who you, what are you guys looking for in terms of 2024 series one uh who's your going to be your favorite player that you're looking for for a rookie card in there i know mine's going to be ellie de la cruz and i don't know there are some other reds rookies i think andrew abbott will likely be in there but i, th I think they're going to probably wait and put uh, Encarnacion, Strand, and Marte probably in Series 2 and break those up. So hope you all have a great one. Please like, comment, subscribe.